Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be going uh, over and, and doing a video on a topic that so many people have requested over the years. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make a texture pack in Minecraft. Yes, you heard that right, your very own Minecraft texture pack. And guess what? We're going to be going through every process of it, even showing you how to zip it up and install it in game and then send that zip file to other people, all of that stuff. We're going to be going over all of it today in this video and you don't even have to download any special files or tools or anything like that. It's just going to be using everything that's built into Windows to do it. So it's going to be a very, very cool process. First, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS back in Minecraft server for just a few bucks a month. We actually love Apex so much that we use them ourselves to host our own Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you want an awesome 24-hour DDoS back in server, go check out Apex Minecraft Hosting. Again, that is the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. So the first thing you want to do when you're making a Minecraft texture pack is just click on that little Windows icon. The little one in the bottom left for you, it's in the top left for me. But just click on that little Windows icon. That's where we're going to be starting because once we're in here, we need to search for the Run RUN application, right like so. And then we need to type in this right here, percent sign APPDATA percent sign percent app data percent exactly like that and click OK. The reason we're doing this is because it gets us to our roaming folder which look at that there's a dot minecraft folder there. You want to open up that dot minecraft folder and then in here you will have a versions folder right down here at the bottom. Yours might not necessarily be at the bottom there might be something below it but nevertheless you're looking for the versions folder right here. Open that on up and then in here you should probably have a lot of versions I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these versions of Forge. Those don't need to be there. But nevertheless, this is what we're looking for. If you're wanting to make a texture pack for the most recent version, click on the most recent version. If the version you're wanting to make a texture pack for isn't here, go launch Minecraft in that version with nothing installed on it, just vanilla of that version. And I can put a video with the eye on the top of your screen that shows you how to do that. But nevertheless, go do that and then uh, it'll be here. So we're going to be focusing on 1.13.2. So go ahead and double click on that. And then here there is a .jar file. I'm going to go ahead and right click copy that and then I'm gonna paste it onto my desktop just so that I can use it over here and we're not always working in this folder. Gives us a bit more space, but you can work on it out of here if you want. However, just know it'll re-download it once you launch Minecraft again. I will recommend just making a copy of it though. Nevertheless, once it's on our desktop, what we wanna do is right click on it and then click rename. Now, if you have .jar here, you're gonna go. You can just change it to zip, dot zip, exactly like that. And then it'll give you a warning. However, however, if you don't have dot jar, what do you do? Well, no worries. Just open up any folder. You can click right here in the in the top of my screen, in the bottom of your screen, click on File Explorer there, or you can just come over here and search File Explorer, and right there it is. See File Explorer, open that up. And then once you're in here, we can go ahead and click on View. And then we want to come over to where it says File Name Extension. See, if I click on that, boom, suddenly it's just 1.13.2. It doesn't say dot jar. So if I go back over to View and then click on File Name Extensions, and boom, now it's 1.13.2.jar. Once you've got that, you want to right click on it, click Rename, and then change 1.13.2.jar to 1.13.2.zip. Right? Change, remove the dot jar and add dot zip. Then it's going to give you this warning. If you change the file name extension, this might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, I am. Go ahead and click yes there. And now we have a zip file. You can go ahead and right click on that zip file and then click extract all and then go ahead and click extract. It will then go ahead and give us a nice little folder over here on our desktop once it's done extracting. It's going to take a second. I mean, it's all of Minecraft that you're extracting basically. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick little jump cut right here until this is done and uh, then we'll be able to make our texture pack. As you can see, this is now finishing up less than 100 files remaining and there we go. It automatically opened this up for us, but if it doesn't for you, no worries. It's created right here on your desktop. This just extracted file. You can actually delete the zip file that you uh, moved and, and like created there. You can just delete that. It's fine because we have it extracted here. So let's go ahead and open up the extracted file, 1.13.2 here. And look at that, inside all of this is a ton of stuff. And you can literally delete everything in here but the assets folder. It's a lot of stuff in here that you just don't need. All we need is the assets folder. So let me just go down through here, scroll all the way to the bottom, and I've clicked at the top, I'm gonna click at the bottom with shift, and boom, selects everything, right click, delete, and then yes, we do want to delete this because uh, we don't need these 4,000 items. Um, yeah, that's fine, permanently delete them. You know, it, it would be nice if there was one more thing in there because if there was, it would have been 4,000 items even, but 399 is pretty cool too. Nevertheless, 
here is the assets folder that we needed. We can go ahead and open that up. And then we can go into the Minecraft folder here. And then here's basically everything you need to get a texture pack up and running. I mean, you can go through and edit all of this, and there is a lot of it. But most of textures are in here, right? They're in the textures folder. I and mean, that's where I'm going to be doing stuff. I'm going to assume you're not going to be doing crazy fancy stuff with the blocks. If you want to do that, honestly, I'm not the person to teach that because I have no experience doing that. But if you come in here, and let's just say we wanted to go into blocks... And then we can see all of the different blocks that Minecraft has to offer. So let's go ahead and do something a little crazy. Let's find the dirt block. It should be titled what it is, which is a dirt block. So give me one second. There it is. And now if we want to go ahead and edit this in Photoshop, which I can just right click and then open with Photoshop right there, I can do that. Now you don't need Photoshop. You could use the GIMP free editor, which I'll link down below. You could use paint. To edit these it doesn't matter what you use but you will need to edit them in some way obviously to create a texture pack um, so nevertheless we've got this block here now as you can see M M minecraft is small these blocks are very very tiny that you're editing so let's go ahead and just zoom all the way in here and that's more like it, right? We are at 6,400% zoomed in. So I don't know what we're gonna do with dirt, but I want it to be something kind of funny, to be honest. So let's go ahead and just uh, make it black and white. That's good. That could be fun. We make an entire black and white texture pack. I'm not gonna do the entire pack today. I don't have time for that. But it'd be cool to turn like dirt and grass to black and white. That'll be very noticeable in game as well. So if we come over here with the dirt, we can come to image, I believe, and then mode. And then we'll just change that to grayscale. And that's fine, discard that, and there we go. That is black and white there. And then you can just go ahead and save that. And then we'll do the same thing for the grass block. We're gonna come back over here and find the grass block. Now, if you're making a texture pack, you're gonna spend a lot of time going through all of this to uh, really get it taken care of. And as you can see, all of these blocks, some of them are wrapped all the way around, whereas others do have different like top parts. For example, grass is uh, an example of that. So you have grass top, and then you have grass block snow, and then you have grass block side overlay, grass block side. As you can see, all sorts of different stuff there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a grass block side, as well as grass block top, because uh, yeah, it just makes sense. So let's go ahead and right click on this one, and then we'll do open with Photoshop. And then again, we wanna do the top of it as well. So right click on that and open it with Photoshop. Now on both of these, same thing. They are very, very tiny, but we can zoom in here and see that they are just that. Now it's kind of weird that this is gray, and I think this one will be, no, this one's not gray. So what we want to do is go ahead and make this one grayscale as well. So we'll do mode and then do grayscale. I understand. And then just go ahead and save that. And then on this one as well, I don't know why it's black and white. I might have clicked on the wrong grass block there, but we can go ahead and do the same thing. So we'll do image mode grayscale boom and save that one as well now we've changed some simple stuff here i could go more in depth and change a lot more but i don't see any reason to do that in game you'll be able to notice that a grass block is now gray and that uh, so is dirt pretty simple there right so how can we go ahead and package this up as a texture pack well what we need to do is go up here to the top see this up here at the top what we want to do is go into 1.13 here and then we want to right click and create a new text document right so just a new text document go ahead and leave this just called new text document and just open it right on up by double clicking on it once you're in this new text document we actually just want to go ahead and do file save as and then we want to save this file as pack.mc meta right like so so pack.mc meta and then we want to save this as all files so pack.mc meta save as all files and then you can go ahead and click save then you can delete this new text document you have and then you should have a pack.mc meta folder here now most of the time you would think you could just open this in notepad and you could do that but i would recommend a free text editor like adam which is what we're opening this with right now in the description down below and open that with Adam because once you paste this in here from the description if you want it to look right and be formatted right you, you need to uh you need to download Adam so nevertheless for the description is what's going to be named in game so we're just going to do the gray is it gray I think it's gray gray scale pack right like so and then you can just go ahead and do file save or just command save or control save or whatever file and then we can do save and then now we are done so now how do we get this in game well it's pretty simple take the assets and mc pack files drag them to your desktop right like so highlight them right make sure they're both selected and then right click click send to and then compressed zipped folder It's then going to put them into one folder and zip them up you can name this whatever you want i'm just going to name it i guess a grayscale pack right we can do gray scale pack right like so i misspelled scale there 
kind of a fail. There we go. Now we just need to come over to Minecraft, right like so, and then we can click on the Open Resource Packs folder. In here, we can take the grayscale pack we have downloaded and just drag it on in. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it, and I do. Now, if we come back into game here, we can click Done, click Resource Packs, and there it is, the grayscale pack. Click on that. Click done, and now we can go ahead and wait for it. Click done again and launch into Minecraft. This creative world works. Hopefully, there's no modded blocks in here because if, if it is, I'm gonna have to do a jump cut. No, we're good. Okay, so nevertheless, once we're in game, we'll be able to see that grass is gray as well as, uh, yeah, you see that? The, the side of the grass is, is gray there. No denying that. In addition to the fact that if we go ahead and do game mode creative, we can uh, see that the dirt is barren and uh, very, very sad looking. But that is how you can make a Minecraft texture pack. Obviously, if you want to change more textures, you could do that by just editing those textures. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. As you can see, even me there, I accidentally edited the wrong grass top, right? So the top of the grass is actually wrong because I edited the wrong file, which is why it was gray there. So nevertheless, if you have any questions, the most common issue of you not being able to like open your texture pack in game is make sure when you double click on it, you immediately see the assets and the pack MC meta folder. If you don't, it's not going to work. So you need to make sure that as soon as you double click on your zip file, you see the assets and pack MC meta. That's going to be the case with all these. Faithful, open it up, pack MC meta, you're good to you're good to go there. Excalibur, same thing. You're going to see assets and then there's a bunch of other information there. But nevertheless, BRBD craft, same thing. Going to open it up. And they have their uh, how to update and all those guides, but guess what? They have pack MC meta and assets. You need both of those to be there as soon as you open up the file or it will not work. That's why we moved them to their desktop before we created this. Nevertheless, if you have any questions, again, let me know in the comment section down below. That is a very basic guide on how to make a Minecraft texture pack. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if it helps. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And I'm out. Peace.